Howdy y'all, this is Regulus Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in Littlewood, where last time we finally got to, um, got to the quests we had going on. I'm sorry, my mind just went blank. We finally got to the, some of the quests we had, um, in our, uh, desk inside of our house. Um, the only thing I have left is to finish doing one more piece of magic wood in the lumber mill. I just, I ran out of energy before I could do it. Um, so we're fe feeling optimistic today. We're gonna go and get that done. However, we have a date today with Willow. So, um, I'm gonna come and do our farming and mail real quick, and we're gonna run down there and see how this date is going to go. So, without too much further ado, let's go ahead and jump in here and get started. I am so excited to see what's going to happen and see what they're going to do for this, because this is actually kind of a little bit of a big thing. Just a little bit. Because, you know, it's a thing. From Dudley. Dear Rickless, congratulations on level 35 in Wayne. There isn't anything you can't do as long as you work hard. Dudley. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, it does look like we have flowers growing here and there. We got a shroom. My ash fellow seems rather charming, but I think he lacks our level of intellect. The whole rugged dust miner thing is quite appealing, though. Okay, goodness. I milk the cow. Today is our date with Willow. Um, I want to eat a breaded fish at the tavern. Okay, we can do that. Um, it does look like I need to pick up some of these flowers. Let's go ahead and scare those away. Willow! I can't believe we're going on a date together. I actually wanted to go on a date with you for a while now. I never told you this, but I'll save it for when we get to Dulusa. Alright, we are here. Let's go to Dulusa. Real quick, hang on. Ooh, a thousand. Ooh, I have a few things I have to take care of around town first, okay? So just real quick, let me put my things in the marketplace. My one weed and a bunch of swallowtails. There, perfect. I'm not going to talk to anyone right now. I will grab this weed real quick. And we have to go run to the Musa. A chicken. Thank you. Thank you, little buck buck. Okay. Let's run. Yes, I will do that. Uh, I can go to the grand library. Date first. Date first, and then do that. Aww. Are we having a picnic? So, I haven't told you this, but... Before you defeated the Dark Wizard, we kissed. I don't know what you were feeling at the time, but I might still have feelings for you, Regulus. With your memory being gone, I didn't want to make things awkward or anything. What's important now is rebuilding home. The last thing I want is to be a distraction. I just... If we did it again one day, I wouldn't mind. Uh huh. You've done such a great job with rebuilding Silver Veil. Vale. When you get some more free time, we should do this again. You're hanging out with me today. Oh, what are we do going to do today? Oh my gosh. That was really cute. It looked like we had a picnic. It was really cute. It's really cute. How are we at fishing? 22. Eh. Do I have all the things for this? No. Alright, Willow, you're gonna be the one that's gonna go with us to the Grand Library. So excited we finally have this unlocked. Like, what the heck? Alright, first thing I see things. A guardian card. Ooh, that sounds nice. Kraken card. You know who would probably want to be here? Laura. No, it's fine. We are taking Willow here with us first. 
Bug expert Petunia. Hello. Oh, hello. It's always nice to meet a new traveler. My name is Petunia. I study rare bugs in their habitats. Hmm? You'd like to know what that creature is over there? Well, allow me to explain. That creature is known as a catacomb tree. It spreads its hollow roots very deep underground. And it connects to other catacomb trees all over Song. This forms a massive network of hollow roots that exotic bugs can travel through. In other words, we don't know what might come out of where. I need a gooey bomb in order to feed the catacomb tree. Okay. Gobby. No noyaki. Okay. Hello, Gobby. Okay, same thing. Huh. I like it, but apparently I need just... a gooey bomb. A gooey bomb and a perfect gooey bomb, because they're used to activate catacomb trees. Okay, so is a fruit? This? I don't know. Oh, oh. Arpeggio. Well, 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 look who we have here. Fancy meeting the fabled dark wizard here in the Grand Library. You've got some guts showing your face after what you did. What do you have to say for yourself? How many times must I defend myself? I am not this dark wizard you speak of. At least, I don't think I am. Things have been rather hazy for me since I woke up a few days ago. Who the what now? <laughs> who the what now? What? But now everywhere I go, people are accusing me of some terrible crime. Playing the fool now, are we? The Dark Wizard has known, was known for his cunning, deception, and magical abilities. I, the great traveling Lara, known as Arpeggio, shall not be deceived by your trickery. Well, aren't you going to blast me to oblivion with one of your spells? I mean you no more. I don't even know if I can use magic. It is the strangest thing. I have this feeling of darkness within me, but I have no recollection of past events, where I was, who I was. I've had to leave every town I've come across, for I was unwelcomed. I suppose I cannot stay here for much longer either. Hmm, indeed, this is a strange circumstance. I have met you once before, when you destroyed half a glaive. Your appearance suggests that you are the Dark Wizard, but your demeanor is completely different. Am I a fool to leave you? Will you strike me down when I least expect it, Dark Wizard? Please stop calling me that. I swear to you, I am no dark wizard. I am... Uh, I seem to have forgotten my own name. Your own name? Forgotten? One must never forget their name. Ooh, or oh, who they are. You, you've forgotten both? This is truly an unexpected tragedy. From now on, I'll look after you, my confused fellow adventurer. I'm not too creative with names, so I'll just call you Dark. It suits you well. Dark? I guess that will be fine for now. Perhaps there will be some knowledge in this library that can shed light on my past, as well as this dark wizard character. Huh. This library is empty because you... I mean, the dark wizard nearly destroyed the structure. The Grand Library's books are filled with knowledge, but have been scattered all around Salem. Some say that travelers are keeping them safe if only there was a way to attract them. Hula what now? I mean, it stands to reason that if the hero of Solon lost their memories, then maybe the dark wizard did too? The plot thickens. Oh, how intriguing. The dark wizard and the hero in the same place once again. Should I step outside? I don't want to be blown to smithereens. Hello. You look oddly familiar. Hello? Oh, Solon? I'm not quite sure what that means. I want to do research on the dark wizard. Perhaps a book in this library can help me. Hmm, they look kind of empty. Hello? Bugmaster Green. Greetings, adventurer. They tell Poe you will keep in it. You're reckless, the hero of Solemn. What an honor it is to meet. Welcome to the Grand Library. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, all of our amazing books have been scattered around Solom. If you happen to find any, please bring them back here. Also, that person over there looks like the Dark Wizard. Could you destroy him for good? If I have to rebuild this giant library one more time, I'll be very upset. 
that's hilarious. So all the books in the Grand Library are scattered. Huh. Okay. How do I find them? This is interesting. Interesting. Do I have to do, like, the trees? Okay. What is this thing? Well... Huh. Some things have been discovered. I don't know what to think of them. Let's go home. I have yet to speak with a lot of the people around him. Ash, I am not flirting with you. Each season, Silverbell has random town events. Always look forward to Pumpkin Day in autumn. Okay, I think I will look forward to that too. Turk? I slayed over 100 dark trees yesterday while exploring the endless forest. Sir Dudley was there. He can confirm heroic deeds. Okay. Oh, someone wanted to eat. Things with slime apples. Maybe some sweet crisps. Some plumberry. Oh, no, wait. A tart platter. Um, some of these and some of these. Actually, let's make a few more of those. And. Oh, the pantry's full. Hey! Nice! Cool. Alright, we're stocked up. We're good. And I have a few of those things that she wanted anyway. Um, oh shoot. Cool. We are going to unlock the chopping board. It was the last thing I do. I have spoken with Bubsy. He's weird. As always. We're gonna grab these books. I need to find a gooey bomb. I don't know how to find a gooey bomb. I think that's what I need to find. Um... One thing I want to do. I'm gonna move this. There. Maybe we'll get a different color if we have them all side by side. I just noticed that this one over here, wait. This one right here is the same species as this one right here. There we go. Okay. I need to collect a bunch of different kinds of flowers. Alright, um... Here we go. Oh, I don't have one. Dang it. Um... have some of these, so... Hmm. Alright, well, let's go down this way. Hello. Yeah. Um, I spoke with Tarek. I think I spoke with Bubsy. I spoke with you. I spoke with Ash. Grab this. Let's come down and speak with Mel. Can you please set task in your own home? It's important to keep track of your personal goals. Yes, it is. And I have been. Mm, you want this? <laughs> I think I'm hilarious. Sometimes. Alright. Oh, there's Maximilian. Maximilian. I shall talk to you. That'd be cool. We could turn tarot monster parts back into monsters. Friendly monsters, it is. It'd be fun to live with them. Two perfect flanks. Thank you. Lilith? I wish I had a ma magic study buddy. <gasps> hey, would you want to learn some spells with me sometime? That sounds cool, actually. It does sound really fun. Dudley? 
the more responsibility you take on, the more meaning your life has. And it certainly seems you have a lot of responsibilities. Yeah. Um, do you remember when that bridge collapsed under our feet? We were really high up in the sludgy mountains, on our way to the Dark Wizard. You caught my hand at the last second. You saved my life! I sound like a good friend. Is that a... Uh, that's a motito. Oh my god. I'm just tired of seeing them in here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so tired of seeing those in there. Zana, in orc culture, putting a pile of dirt on someone is a significant sign of affection. Do you find that to be very romantic? Not particularly. What did I need to do? I needed to do something else. Okay. I need to go and craft a bunch of plain bricks and plain um, logs. And a uh, fancy plank. Put on this. Okay. Yes, I have. There. I got that. Cool. There. I did that. I don't have enough wood to do a whole lot. Okay. I hope I get a bunch of bonus items. I have 10. I have exactly 10. Let's see if I can get 10... Oops. Of these. Yes, they're gonna need the two drops. That's fine. Uh, okay. Dang it. Alright, hello? date with Willow went well, I believe. Wait, wrong house. Hello. It feels like a great job with rebuilding Silverdale. You need to get some free, more free time. We should do this again. I'm glad. I'm glad she had fun. Okay. Let's come and do this. I gotta... Collect one twig, collect ten golden bells, collect ten corn. Level 20 in farming, level 20 in crafting. Okay. Actually, that reminds me. So I need to go find that chest. And I need to... and dark. Apparently our new characters. Okay. Friday, 19th day of summer. Ooh. We met, um, 12 townsfolk, I think that's what this was said. I need to go find a twig and golden bells and corn. Um. Hang on, we have some new townsfolk. So dark. Dark wants to uncover the secrets of his past and to help those he hurt. To him, happiness is being trusted by others. Aww. That's really cute. And Arpeggio is a carefree traveling bard. He loves to impress those around him and believes that happiness is being recognized for your talent. I mean, that's not something bad to be happy about. 
Alright. Golden bells. I got one. We're on the right track. Okay, so you want something. Oh, no, you have an egg for me. I think this will track pretty well. Yes, it does. It does a lot. And they give me things. Yay! Heroic bed. Is that supposed to be for me? Just so I'm not that impressed. Alright, so yeah, we're doing really well in the friends department. Apparently there's a few more though. Okay. Every Wednesday and Saturday, okay. So we have one more day. Okay, Bubsy. Mm, my favorite flower. I'm gonna all the purple tootsies. Tootsies. Okay. Well, can you believe that Tom is a floating continent? I wonder how it feels. Any hey, magic? Let's give you our compliment. Okay? You're so sweet. Thanks. I try. Alright, we should have... Yes. A pumpkin and something else. Oh boy. Hang on. Do I have the chopping board? I do not, but I will now. <laughs> okay. I don't think I have things I can make right now. I've heard stories of a rare tool called a pocket watch. Apparently it allows you to reverse time. That sounds intriguing. Alright, let's do my three leads. And then... Do... Until I have five of those. And I don't need this many carrots. write poetry. This is a fun exercise in creativity. You may learn a few things about yourself. Um, neat. Lilith, you know that trees will regrow from stumps in town? Unless they are burned to ashes. Okay. Calm down. Your intenseness is showing. Silverdale has round town events. I always look forward to Pumpkin Day in autumn. I'm beginning to look forward to Pumpkin Day too, just because I like pumpkins. Alright. I need this. I want this. I want this. I want this. Hey, Regulus. I'm enjoying a healthy fruit snack today. Would you like some? You gave me a crescent. Oh my gosh. That's new. Solemn is a big floating consciousness. There are many people who believe there are other floating continents too. I wonder if there are people like us on those continents. There could be. No? I saw Lilith summon a horde of demon skeleton zombies last night. They all walked off into the forest. Should we be concerned? Um, I'm gonna say no and hope that is the correct answer. This is going to be my new crescent, isn't it? What is that? Yeah. No, you can't have my crescent. Go away. Is there anything new over here? Ooh, flower. What's new? Oh, wait. 
Wait, yes, I can do that. Sorry, can I do that? I don't know if I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Okay. <laughs> the usual. Questioning myself. Ooh, a sword. No, you can't have that. Alright, let's go build the thing because I have just realized I was supposed to just go do that and then run. Um, <laughs> wrong way. This way. Well, that, it was, it was bricks. Yes. Alright, run. Run. Alright, where do I want the windmill? Windmill's going over here. Because I said so. Like all the way-ish. Good. What does it do? Okay. Refreshing gust of wind blows through town. The windmill increases my chance of harvesting bonus crops and fruit. Heck yes. Please. That would be very nice. Did I, did I do this? I did. I bought everything. I need more fancy planks. Alright. Let's go see what this says. Go up. Okay. But we got um, another structure. Okay. Mm yeah. them. The only thing left is the compost bin and that requires 20 and 20. So I'm just gonna have to work on that as time goes on. I have enough. I could do another golden bell tree, but I have to destroy something first. Goop, papayapa, crescent, and just a normal tree stump. Crescent is gonna be, yeah. Um, I could do potatoes, but I don't have that. Okay. and destroy this other slime apple tree. Last thing I'm gonna do. And place a golden bell tree. And any extra trees have to start going down. Okay then. Alright. Well, we have to end things out here because I am definitely going more towards time. Um... So next time we will finish out this day and hopefully have another amazing day was worth of adventures. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me. If you could do please leave a like, a comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.